Welcome back, folks, to Fish and Planet for the Qualifier 3 guide. As you guys know, I made it on Qualifier 1, so I, if I don't, uh, or if I make it and uh, there's more qualifiers, I generally put a guide out, obviously, to try to help people, because I, I know if you, some of you come to the stream to try to sort out if you're having issues, what you think might be a good way to do it. And today, we're going to go through it. This is a way more straightforward and simpler one. Uh, than it was for Germany, uh, and a lot of this is going to be based on luck because you could have, honestly, you could have a really terrible run and have like five or six uniques, or you could have a really good run and have like 20. So uh, a few things here quick. If you're looking, the weather pattern is going to be kind of like the night of night three. It's not exactly the same. Um, in the middle of it, it will go dead, and one thing I want to talk about is don't don't hesitate to drop your hook sizes. So far in this tournament, it the people that have been making it or the friends that are mine that have been making it have not been hesitant to use small hooks. Um, and, and so that's something interesting that I've started to notice. Uh, so anyway, let's spawn in here for the first spot. And I can, I'll show my, actually, I should show my setups first. Um, this is what I've been using down here for practice. And I've had, uh, this is the most consistent thing, the frog. But obviously anything that works for catfish can work. But the three best things for me in order were that, the dead lumbari fish, and uh, the chicken liver all on six O's. Um, the chicken liver sometimes is hit or miss, though. On one practice it did good, and another one not so great. Um, but... Um, I, and I just did one. I'll put a picture of it here at the end. I did one, too, where I just did, like, 30 minutes or something. I can't remember. It wasn't very long. I, I And I caught seven uniques right off the bat. Um, so you definitely, you're going to want, hopefully in your bag, you're going to want at least 10, uh, or at least 10 uniques, good uniques. So probably you're going to need to catch probably... 12 to 17, I don't know. 20 is going to be possible. And I think to make it your score, you're going to want to have, I think, 640 would make it. I don't know. It's really hard to tell on these brand new. I know I've been lucky so far on the I guessing scores, but I, if I were to take a guess, 640 would be a good score. And I definitely could get to that. I, I haven't got up into that 700 range or that 680 range. I think there's going to be a few people that have like 670, 680. Maybe somebody really lucky with the sizes that get even bigger. Uh, but for me personally, I could get like 650-ish area. And uh, anyway here, guys, for spot one, obviously a lot of people are going to know this spot. Um, these are the most straightforward tournament I've uh, probably been across. Uh, but this is the mark right here, negative 15, uh, negative, and 130. I, I will show these marks, but you guys can pause them if you want to put them on. I wouldn't use large minnows at night. For some reason at night, they don't seem to be as effective. Uh, they do normally work pretty darn well during the day. Um, and as you can see here... Uh, uh, this mark is actually from one of my practices because I normally just know where that hole is. I don't usually mark it, so I marked it quick. Um, and uh, this is negative uh, 13, 158. And that, for you guys, if you don't know, is you can just come over here and cast right there. Otherwise, you can actually go to this spawn, which I do a lot, and you can cast from this side too. It's just right there. I, it's actually shorter from the other side. Um but, and then for the last spot, Pelican Hut here, we'll just turn around, and you will go out to the end here, and so, some things to know about this tournament, you just stay in the spot until it slows down, you can catch multiple uniques in a row, nobody's, you won't see any of the holding fish here, because at Quanchkin, you can catch a ton of uniques, I've caught up to five uniques in a row before, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but in practice, I've caught three uniques in the same spot within five minutes. 
So you don't have to worry about moving, guys, right away. Just move when it slows down. But over here at Pelican Hut, this is this to like right over here is a good spot. And this is, uh, let's see, 7.639. And I did I, in both pra in, in T practice, I got two uniques right out of here back to back, which is odd because um, that's not normally, this is normally an okay spot, but it's not normally one of my favorites. I use um, this one down here as spot one right there. And then spot two. And actually, if you want to, if you're casting from that other side, right on that side of lily pads is a good little spot too, where normally when they use a crankbait, they hit. So you can get them there too. Um, but like I said, you don't have to worry about uh, holding. You don't have to worry about people double uniquing and holding uniques to try to get more. This will be a pretty fast pace unless you get really unlucky, which could happen. Uh, as anybody knows, sometimes these flatheads down here just don't like to show up. But for the most part, it's pretty quick here on this night. So anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you next time, folks.